Hi everyone, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I am so excited. I am bringing you this glorious recipe which is my mini sloppy joe sliders. So good, so easy to make. Let me show you how to make them. Let's go. Now you want to preheat your skillet over medium heat and allow it to become nice and hot. Then you want to add in some olive oil and add in your ground beef as well. Break it up as best as you can. And now what we're going to do is just allow our ground beef to cook until it is almost completely cooked. Remove any excess drippings. Just leave about two to three tablespoons in there. And now it's time to add in our veggies. We are going to add in some onion, some sweet red pepper, Pepper and a diced jalapeno. Now you don't have to add in the jalapeno but I do like the little bit of spice and the flavor that it adds to the sloppy joes. Now mix everything until everything is nicely mixed together and now you want to add some seasoning so just some salt and some ground black pepper at this time. In the end you want to make sure that you check for seasoning and if you have to add in a little bit more you can add in some more. Mix everything together and now what we are going to do is cook our veggies for about five to seven minutes. Then you want to add in your garlic, mix, and then you want to add in some brown sugar. And at this time, you also want to add in your spices. So we're adding in some mustard powder, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, all the good stuff. Mix everything well. Add in some water and a chicken bouillon cube. You can use vegetable or beef and just cook that for about two minutes. Now you want to add in some Worcestershire sauce, some ketchup, and you also want to add in some tomato sauce. You can also use passata here, but um, I'm using canned tomato sauce. I didn't have any passata on hand. Mix well, and now we are going to allow our mixture to cook over a low heat, so you want to simmer everything for about 20 minutes. It'll be thick and delicious. Now that our sloppy joe filling is ready, we are going to move on to our rolls. So what I have here is two packages of King's Hawaiian rolls. We are going to slice them in half. Take a large serrated knife and cut your rolls horizontally right in the center as even as you can. I have already sliced my rolls as you can see here. Okay, this is perfect. Now I'm going to place my rolls on a cookie sheet lined with some parchment paper and I'm going to prepare a butter topping. Our rolls are ready, so what I have here is a quarter cup of melted butter and half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. So I just added in the garlic after the butter was melted, gave it a stir, and now we will brush this on our rolls. Now I'm going to place my rolls into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, probably for around 10, 12 minutes. You'll notice that they will become a nice light golden brown. I'll meet you right back here as soon as they are done. Let's go. My rolls were in the oven for 10 minutes. I think this is perfect. They are nice and crispy. And now I have my sloppy joe, which is very hot. Okay, you want to make sure it's ready to eat. And I also have some cheese. I'm going to be doing one side cheese, one side no cheese. So that is up to you if you want to use cheese or not, but we're gonna try it today because it's actually my first time trying it with cheese. Now what I'm going to do is just remove the tops of my buns and then we are going to move on to the next step. Now we spread our filling. I'm using mozzarella cheese, but you can use any cheese that you prefer. So I'm just going to sprinkle it generously. And as I mentioned, just on one side. Okay, so these ones are ready to serve. So I'm just going to set them on a platter and we are going to cut and try them. 
But the cheesy ones are going to go back into the oven on a low broil just until we have a nice melted cheese situation. Not for long. You want to make sure that you keep an eye on it because it can easily burn. Let's melt our cheese. The cheese took just a couple of minutes to melt. As I said, make sure you keep an eye on it when you're using any type of broil because it can easily burn. It started to bubble. It is nice and melted. So now I'm going to place the top part of my rolls here and we will be that close to trying it. But now I did place the top part of my rolls as well to warm up a little bit just to keep them warm while we were melting the cheese, okay? I'm just going to move these aside so we can bring in the other sloppy joes that we prepared as well. I also warmed these up a little bit more just to give my bread a little more of a crust. So it's completely up to you. You can toast your buns just like you like it, a little more um, golden, a little lighter, completely up to you. Did you see that cheese pull? I know you did. Now we are ready to try a cheesy sloppy joe. I'm a little skeptical, but we're gonna try it. The cheesy sloppy joe was just so good. Once you try it, you will never go back. But now we are going to try a traditional sloppy joe here. Simply perfection. You need to try these. Go get your rolls, buy all your ingredients. You're gonna love it. You're not gonna regret it. So make sure that you also try the cheesy one because you are going to fall in love. Try it, let me know in the comments what you think. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.